Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number eight from the January 2022 International A-Level Pure Mathematics P2 paper. This question here is about a metal post which is repeatedly hit in order to drive it into the ground. Given that on the first hit, the post is driven 100 meters into the ground, on the second hit, it's driven an additional 98 millimeters into the ground, in the third hit, the post is driven an additional 96 millimeters into the ground. The additional distances the post travels on each subsequent hit form an arithmetic sequence. Show that the post is driven an additional 62 millimeters into the ground with a 20th hit. Okay, so you have like the first term, it's driven 100 millimeters into the ground. The second term, 98 millimeters. The third term, 96 millimeters. And we got to show that the 20th term is going to be 62 millimeters um, so you know that you can see they're telling us this is an arithmetic um, sequence so that when you have an arithmetic sequence you have what's called a common difference you have the first term which is 100 as the first term here and the common difference we can see is negative 2 the additional distances that's going into the ground is going down by 2 each time and they want us to find the uh, 20th, the, the, the number of millimeters is going to go into the ground, the additional number of millimeters on the 20th hit. So we know the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by a plus n minus 1 times d, where d is the common difference. So we're looking for the 20th. Now the 20th is going to be a, which is 100, plus n minus 1, which is 20 minus 1 here. We're going to have n equals 20. So that's going to be 19 times d, which is minus 2. So that's going to give us 100 minus 38, which is 62. So we can see very clearly that the 20th term is equal to 62, 62 millimeters. So there's the answer for part A of this question. Then it says, find the total distance that the post has been driven into the ground after 20 hits. Now we have two formulas we can use for the total sum of all those first 20 additional distances. The total distance that the post has been driven into the ground. So it's been driven into the ground 100, then another to 98, then another 96, and so on. And you're going to add all these terms together. That will tell you the total distance has been driven into the ground altogether. The, the, if you add all these together. So the total sum of the first 20 terms of this sequence is what we need. Now the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence are given by the formula n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. This is something you'll find in your formula book. You'll also have another formula which is um, easy to use, especially if you know the first and the last term, which is a plus n over 2 times a plus l where a is the first term and l is the last term. Now here we know the last term, we know the first term, we know it's an arithmetic sequence, we know how many terms there are. So that will obviously be the, the easiest formula to know, to, to use, sorry. So the first term is 100, the, the last term is 62, and the number of terms is 20. So if we use this formula here, the sum of the first 20 terms is 20 over 2 times 100 plus 62, which is, one, which is going to be 10 times 162, which is 1,620. So that's the sum of the first 20 terms. That's how far it's been driven into the ground Okay, um, after 20 hits. So there's part B done. Then it says, given that for each subsequent hit after the 20th hit, the additional distances the post travels form a geometric sequence with a common ratio R, and on the 22nd hit, the post is driven an additional 60 millimeters into the ground. Find the value of R, giving your answer to three decimal places. Okay, so now we have a geometric sequence. So the 20th hit, the 20th hit of the arithmetic sequence is the first hit of our, it's, it's of our, um, you could say, oh well, you could say the, the first term of our new geometric sequence. So the term of the, the 20th hit of our, our original sequence is 62. Now the 21st hit, okay, and the 22nd hit now are different from the ones before them in terms of the way they increase. You now have a common ratio. So let me call the 21st hit x, and let me call the 22nd hit, well, we know it's 60. All right, so it's gone 60, then an additional 20, uh, additional amount, 
and then another additional amount. But how are these amounts related? They're related by being in a geometric sequence. That means there's a common ratio. You have to multiply the same number by 62 to give me x, and that same number multiplied by x to give me 60, which means that the common ratio of this sequence can be given by 60 over x, and it can also be given by x over 62. If you, if you divide a term by the term before it, it gives you the common ratio in a geometric sequence. So I can set up a little equation here. I can say that means that 60 over x is going to give me the same ratio as x over 62, which means I can solve this equation. That will give me 60 times 62 is equal to x squared. So I can find what x is. So I have 60 times 62 which gives me 3,720 is equal to x squared. So x is equal to the square root of that, which gives me 2 times root 930. I'll leave it like that for now. Okay, that's not the common ratio. That's just this next term. So the common ratio is going to be 2 times root 930 divided by 62. Okay, I could even do 60 divided by this. It will give me the same ratio. That's going to give me the square root of 930 divided by 31. These will cancel out. So therefore, the common ratio is equal to, they want it to three decimal places. So I'm going to take this and divide it by 62. And it gives me, as we said, root 930 over 31. Um, that's the common ratio, which to three decimal places, 0 0.9837. 73 continues on. So therefore, to three decimal places, that's... 0 0.984, that's the common ratio, okay? So there we have part C, the common ratio. And um, now that's, okay, part C. Let's go on to part D now. Part D says, after a total of N hits, the post will have been driven more than three meters into the ground. Find, showing all steps in your working, the, possible, the smallest possible value of N. So we know that after 20 hits so far, that's with the gym, the arithmetic series, after 20 hits, we can see that it's been driven 1,620 um, millimeters into the ground, which is equal to, um, if you divide by, um, yeah, so this is millimeters. So you've got to divide millimeters. So meters to centimeters to millimeters. Okay, that means this is going to be um, if you if you convert this into meters, let's convert three meters into millimeters. You've got to multiply it by a hundred times ten by a thousand. So it's going to be three thousand millimeters. It's been driven into the ground altogether after n hits. So we've got to find how how far how many hits it takes for it to be driven into the ground three meters. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, altogether three meters. So after twenty hits, it's been dri it's been driven this much. So we've got to find how many further hits are needed for it to be altogether 3,000 millimeters into the ground. So what's remaining for it to be hit into ground is 3,000 minus 1,620. So 3,000 minus 1,620. That's 1,380 millimeters remaining for it to be hit into the ground. Now, the 20th hit was 62. From the 21st hit on, so up to the 20th hit, up to there, the total, all right, for like the 19th and the ones before, the total is 1,620. We want to find what the situation is from the 21st hit until the nth hit. We want the total sum, the total sum altogether of this section to be up to 1,380 millimeters. That gives you a total of uh, 3,000 millimeters, which is 3 meters. So all these subsequent hits up to this number n has to be 1,380. Okay, so if I just consider this new section here, and I'll take the 21st hit as my first number in my geometric series, okay, and this will be my second, and this will be my third, and I'll call this little n, okay, I know that big N will therefore be 20 plus little n. So I'm going to find out what this little n is. Now I need to know what the 21st hit is. Now the 21st hit is the 20th hit 
increased by the geometric series where the common ratio was the square root of 930 over 31. That was a common ratio. If we just confirm that. That's right, just to, to remind ourselves. So that was a common ratio. Okay, so now we have a geometric series where we want to find the sum of the first n terms of these series, and we don't want the sum to be basically more than 1380. So I'll find what, first of all, the sum of a geometric series is given by the first term a times 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. And it's always better to use this form of the formula rather than this form of the formula when the magnitude of the common ratio is less than 1. In this case, it was, it was 0 0.984. All right, that's the value of this common ratio. I'm using it in this exact form just for my calculations to make them more accurate. So I need to find the value of n for Sn to be greater than 1380, but I'm going to use an equation. I prefer to use equations and inequalities. I'll find the num value of n so, th so that uh, the sum is equal to 1380, and then after that I will be able to uh, continue from there. So we've got first a is the 21st term, which is basically... 62 times the common ratio, which is the square root of 930 over 31, which is 2 times the square root of 930, basically. Let's cancel out. And we know that the common ratio is the square root of 930 over 31. All right, that's all we need to know. So we can say that 1,380 is equal to the first term, which is 2 times the square root of 930 times 1 minus r, which is the square root of 930 over 31 to the power of n, which we have to find that n, over 1 minus the square root of 930 over 31. Okay, so this is the f what I have to basically solve to find the value of n. Now, I'm just going to rewrite this in such a way that I'm not going to have to round anything. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to... Um, divide both sides by 2 times root 930 and also multiply both sides by 1 minus root 930 over 31. So I'm going to write this as uh, 1380 divided by 2 root 930. Okay, so I divided both sides by this and multiplied both sides by 1 minus the square root of 930 over 31. That leaves me with what's left over here, which is 1 minus the square root of 930 over 31 to the power of m, n. Okay, so I'm trying to do this so that I can not have to use uh, any rounding until the end. Okay, now I want to make this the subject. So I'm going to add this to both sides and take away all of this from both sides. So on this side, I'll have the square root of 930 over 31 to the power of n equals, I've got the 1 there, and I'm taking away all of this, to, you know, from, from both sides. So this would be 1380 over 2 times root 930 times 1 minus root 930 over 31. All right, so now I'm almost there. Now I can t I want to find n, so I'm going to take log to the base of this of both sides. So I'm going to take log to the base of, and with these new modern calculators, we can do this quite easily. The log to the base of this of both sides. Okay, now that's going to give me just n. I don't have to actually write this, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Okay, so this is going to give me, by the power law, in the end, n equals. Because log to the base of something of itself will give you 1. Using a power law, this will be n times 1, which is n. So therefore, I have to take the log to the same base of both sides. So I've got to take log to the base of the square root of 930 over 31 of all of this, which is 1 minus 1,380 over 2 times root 930 times 1 minus root 930 over 31, and hopefully this should give me my answer. Now, it's a bit complicated to write like this, but I'm going to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to put this equals, this is I'm going to call it, whoops, no. Okay, um, get rid of this. I'll just write it here, it's easier. So the square root of 930 
the square root of 930 divided by 31. Okay, I'm going to store that as A. That's stored as A now. So I'm going to put log to the base of A. Okay, of 1. Okay, minus fraction 1380 over 2 times the square root of 930 okay all of that times okay 1 minus and this is a remember a was root 930 over 31 so I've, I've stored that as a okay so 1 minus a close that bracket hopefully that will give me my answer 27.98 so 27.98 so on the 27.98th hit it's going to have reached 1380 millimeters but of course you can't have a 27.98th hit okay so it's going to exceed this number of millimeters on the 28th hit so the first time on the 27th hit it will be less than 1380 millimeters the total sum okay so therefore on the 28th hit the 28th hit after the initial 20 hits. So this section here, that requires, after it's already gone down 1,620, it takes another 20, altogether 28 hits for it to go more than 3,000 or 3,000 millimeters or 3 meters into the ground. So therefore our big N is going to be the 20 hits for the first arithmetic series part plus 28 hits for the geometric series part, so it's going to be 48. So n is equal to 48. It takes 48 hits altogether, including the earlier arithmetic prep, 20 hits from the arithmetic part, plus the, the hits from the 21st hit onwards. That will give us our number of hits required for it to have fallen or driven more than 3 meters into the ground. Okay, so that's the answer to question number 8, um, part D. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area over here. Other questions from the topic of sequences and series from P2 can be found in the uh, link in this area over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.